All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the dialogue with Agbo Jalingo on Hit 95.9 FM. We get the best music and best talk. We are discussing the Bakasi resettlement and relief materials saga that the matters are rising from so far. Right about now, we got uh, the Director General of the State Emergency Management Urgency, Mr. Johnny Nako, on phone. That Mr. Nako, I would like to go straight to you and ask you. The are time our relief materials diversion saga. What really happened? Thank you very much. The materials made for our camera were actually not for the diversion of force. The force alarm had a very uh from the state into a big embarrassment. They went through sound and dot across the state, especially that it was called a coordinated effort to put the agency and the state to shame by an individual or a group of persons. The materials made for the time have actually got to the, to the right source, who is uh, the holder of the Bakasi local government area. She is a uh, institution that these things ought to have been handed over to, not to individuals. And that's exactly what we need. We and need to clarify that the holder is the head of local government uh, administration. We are actually distributed among three key areas of Bakasi. Okay. Oh, I see. And people signed and collected all of this material. I see. Now, uh, look, I have to ask you, has there been previous uh, occurrences and allegations of uh, this nature? Or uh, is there any similar incidences or circumstances recorded uh, by SEMA so far? Well, over time, no. But I think it's for some time now, the, the state personality uh, comes to SEMA and asks for the material. We don't just sit down and look at people or a group of persons and, and feel that because the swans have we will not receive uh, uh, approvals, we are moving once we get in the arts to see access areas, but we move in there into an area and do our need assessment and we see the audience in with things that are required in that place. We, we, we give up. And the same message has always come to us to get materials like that. Prior to this incident that just happened, she was there. I crossed her to the Atlanta or Abdana Hotel area across the sea when we went and carried out the need assessment. And before this was done, we had materials already down in Crossroad State. It was not as if because we went there and came back and she said, oh, okay, my place is bond. That's why those things came. No. We are we're yet to make letters across. So, okay, now that this incident has happened, we need this and that and all of that. But because I made the situation, we had to go back to the things that were on ground to ensure that we you know, you know, provide some palliative measures you know, to, to, to say that this was okay. I say, uh, Mr. Nako, uh, I have to go to Mr. Sin shortly. Before but you go to Mr. Sin, so, let me yeah, ask him. I, I, all right, let okay. me ask him something. Uh, Mr. Nako. Yes, yeah, um, there are some people are saying that there is only one camp for the displaced, internally displaced persons of Bakasi. Others are saying there are two camps. Others are saying there are three. In the records of the State Emergency Management Agency, how many camps are housing the internally displaced people of Bakasi? And, and how many, how many of them people are there? have you been able to reach out to? How many of these camps have you been reaching out to in your records, sir? Yes. Thank you very much. What we do is to see how we can go about identifying areas where uh, people are incapacitated, people actually need uh, real materials. So I will provide this material services to them. But some time now, we are always getting letters. You know, oftentimes, people write to us. Something has happened to us. They are not uh, uh, so sad that we will know that something is happening at a given area. So, the aqua economy item have been those who are always running back to us until recently. And this is no, the matter has come in. We then think those who we felt that had been settled coming in to say, okay, these are things meant for our area. And we saw the need so well. As much as we can squeeze what we have to give to our area, we should equally send others to the Atamon area, the Upland area, and the River area. So now we have discovered to them there are so many camps in place. If you look at, for instance, let me say an instance, if you okay. look at the Udupanic case study, yeah. you will discover that they have already written to us. We have to do that. We have issues to settle it because of young in Udupan that 
What's your name and where are you calling us from, Kola? I'm calling from Kala. My name is Austin. All right, Austin. It's good to hear from you. You are welcome to the dialogue with Agba Jalingo. And like we said, the rules have not changed. 60 seconds. Please, I want to ask um, that the DG, if DG can tell us, um, I want to ask if DG can tell us that um, who and who from his own head that signed and collected apart from the one collected from Olga because we've been having speculations that there are some other politicians in Bakati who have signed and collected or not signed in person or one person signed and collected on behalf of them. Like I'm aware to a certain extent that they, they propose the person who are now accused other person collecting these things Senator Florence is that you are collected twenty bags of rice, twenty bags of beans. <laughs> well, we can't verify that. Uh, we can't verify that allegation. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we got uh, Mr. Naku on the line. I think uh, probably he should react to that. Okay, can you can you hold on to that, Mr. Naku? Will react to that. Let Mr. Naku react to that. We have him on the line. Uh, all right. Thank you, Mr. Austin. It's good to hear from you. All right, Mr. Naku, can you go ahead and react to that, please? Okay, and did you confirm that those relief materials got to where they were supposed to go, sir? Yes, we were there. She took some there. We should took some there. And uh, the red bonnet was handled over there, too. Okay, so somebody... Because you can see them throwing parts of red water and all of that, so it was not uh, uh, meaningful even taking things there. All right, sir. Somebody said it was 20 bags of rice, 20 bags of... Uh, cement and Cement and 20 bags of gari. Can that information be confirmed, sir? <laughs> Okay. 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 They gave twenty twenty twenty, but what got there was not twenty twenty twenty.